Do you believe that equities can continue to climb this wall of worry and, and move us higher, or could we do for, be due for another pullback? Well, first, Courtney, great to be with you, as always. Um, we are positive into year-end. In fact, we told our clients at the end of September to use that pullback to position for further strength into year-end. Now, we've had a 5% rise in just a couple of weeks, so it would be perfectly normal to see some choppiness over the next week or two, but we are now in a very seasonally positive period. The cyclical areas of the market are improving. And one of our key points is we think the market is now, or the economy is now set up for positive surprises after we saw a pretty noticeable slowdown in the third quarter because of the COVID trends. So we do think there is more ammunition for this market to rise into year end. Of course, we're going to continue to hear from a number of corporates reporting their quarterly results. And I'm sure a lot of the commentary will have to center mm -hmm. around the, the problems in the supply chain, the chip shortage, uh, potential other worries about return to normalcy w with COVID. Do you really foresee any of that to be an issue for investors, or is that something that we're all just expecting and that we can sort of hunker down and look through the numbers and the expectations and really focus on that as key points? Yeah. Well, the first thing is there's always this ongoing carousel of concerns. I do think some of these issues you raise, especially on the supply chain, make, um, basically means there's going to be some areas that outperform other areas. So think about right now the consumer staples area, an area we've been underweight for several months, is having a tough time uh, pushing through those increased prices. However, um, if you think about um, like places like finances or energy that actually benefit from a little bit of inflation, don't have a lot of inventory, would also benefit from a little bit higher rates and, and good demand from the economy. Those are two areas that we like. It's interesting because, you know, look at the energy sector. It's up a lot this year, but energy prices or crude oil prices are at the highest level since 2014. The energy sector is still 25 percent below where it was a few mm -hmm. years ago. And then financials have just made um, a new high this year after not, you know, after not doing much over the last 14 years.